Hey guys, it's Darcy Lacouvet here with Android Authority reporting live from CS 2015. Excuse me, <laughs> been a long few days. I'm here with Jeff Gordon. He's the chairman of the committee for the Alliance for Wireless Power. And we're going to talk about the state of wireless power. And uh, obviously you've been doing this for a while. So what are we looking at here at CS 2015? So here at CES 2015, we have a uh, nice booth here with Resonance certified products. We have about uh, 18 members who have brought different technologies here that they want to show off that are all interoperable with one another. We have a variety of desktop devices that you can use to charge your mobile phones, tablets, and other devices, as well as uh, the real key with resin technology is the ability to integrate this seamlessly within a surface. Nice. So we have a bunch of countertops, mm -hmm. we have a, uh, a stone cafe table nice. that all have resin transmitting pads built directly underneath them. Very and cool. all you need to do to build them in is we actually just use some double stick tape yep. or some screws just to retrofit it in the existing surfaces. We didn't have to drill any holes, we didn't have to dig around there, just pop it right up there and we've got charging at the surface. So in terms of the core technology itself, um, I'm under the impression that it's up to 50 millimeters, up to 5 centimeters roughly? So I mean, officially it's not specified okay. in our specification, the, the distance, but we tend to talk about about 45 to 50 millimeters. Okay. And the key there is with furniture, mm -hmm. and that most furniture is, most is designed less than 50 millimeters. Yeah, and there's absolutely. a few few key spots there, about 19, 26 millimeters is what most thicknesses are. So in terms of taking kind of a high level overview, what we're looking at um, with the PMA, obviously the Alliance for Wireless Power, we have kind of smaller players like Energist as well. And now we have obviously the Wireless Power Consortium, you know, sort of the Qi standard. So, what do you kind of see as happening over the next year, two years, three years, in terms of what consumers can expect? I think just looking at the Alliance for Wireless Power's point of view first, yeah. is that we expect to see products beginning to roll out in the first half of this year, most likely in a um, accessory yep. type mode. But then towards the second half of the year, we'll start to see more integrated technologies on the, on the phone side. Nice. So we'd expect we have some member companies that have announced support within their chipsets. Okay for wireless charging. Nice. So when those get integrated within the phones, obviously there's a real convenience of having it built into the phone when you buy it okay, cool. from your particular carrier or other. Nice. Um, is Reasons uh, and the, the Alliance itself, are they making any moves into potentially being able to charge uh, laptops or you know, Apple products? Or yes, like so our technology, uh, the specification currently goes up to 50 watts. 50 watts. And so we are actually today addressing the uh, charging of laptops. Nice. One of our demos here actually does show laptop oh, yeah. charging. Okay, cool. And uh, some of our members, uh, Intel yeah. specifically has talked about charging of laptops. Yeah. And I know they've shown that off as well. Yes. You have some real heavy hitters as part of your alliance. So Qualcomm and Intel obviously <laughs> command significant mind share and market share. Yes. So, But the real sort of key is that once it becomes integrated into the circuit itself, and there won't be any need for any sort of accessories. Yeah, so there's two things. One is that it's built in, so we focus on the phones and the yeah. tablets and the other mobile devices, mm -hmm. that it's just it's there when you buy it. Mm -hmm. That's a key. Yeah. And then we're talking about how they're going to charge their phones. Yeah. So people might still go out and buy a, a nice dish that they can drop their phone into Absolutely. or whatever else to charge it. Yeah. But, but really, ideally, we get this as part of the ecosystem. So nice. it's built in where you need it, at yeah. home, in the office, cool. in your car, uh, uh, wherever else it might be. Are you able to disclose any of the partnerships potentially with auto manufacturers or like retailers or Starbucks or McDonald's or anything like well, that? Well, there's I mean, really it's our membership yeah. within automotive. We have uh, a number of tier one and tier two automotive suppliers. Okay. Uh, we have some things we're demonstrating here as far as building them into cars themselves. Cool. Uh, other others of our members as well have actual full automobiles with their versions of wireless charging built in. Nice. So you can see that. Um, that's cool. But that's yeah. And as far as uh, and other ecosystems, a part of. You know, we talked about earlier, you mentioned earlier, was the merger that was announced with the PMA. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, the PMA has a very nice ecosystem already that's in place. And uh, you know, that obviously, the, the merger's just been announced that we're going to start our discussions yes, on it. So, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, it's just basically the letter of intent has been signed. So yes. the details of how that's going to come together aren't anything we can you know, talk I about readily today. But it's so much but fun to speculate, Jeff. It is. <laughs> it is, exactly. So, you know, so obviously when you look at combining the two groups, yeah. you talk about some powerful names within the A4WP, obviously there's a lot more powerful names there as well. Can two competing standards, technologically speaking, exist within one alliance? Is that possible? Could, would it, I mean, would there ever be the potential one day for all the technological standards to be combined so that consumers could get it earlier? Well, the ultimate goal is to have a single standard. Yeah. 
that would avoid any confusion there. And it's what we see with a lot of other technologies. Yeah. So that would be the end goal, and that's part of what we're seeing with the A4WP and the PMA combining, yeah. is that so. that would go, we, we go from three to two, and, uh, and that's a fantastic, fantastic accomplishment in the industry. Fantastic. Well, I think we're all looking forward to a future where we have less wires. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, so thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Yeah. Star Select from Android Authority, reporting live here at CS 2015. Stay tuned for more coverage.